I've popped into Pets Group Library. Found a book. Auntie Trina might be living here soon. It's a book for a poem. It's one about my teeth. He told life and the bone of death. Confidence, but all in vain. But every time she shouted, Fire! They only answered, Liar! Liar! And therefore, when her aunt returned, Matilda and the house were burned. If you lie about this poem or learning it, you might come to us again. Says Hilary Bell. Roald Dahl wrote a poem called The Pig. In England, there once lived a big and wonderfully clever pig. To everybody, it was plain that piggy had a massive brain. He worked out sums inside his head. There was no book he hadn't read. He knew what made an aeroplane fly. He knew how engines work and why. He knew all this, but in the end, one question drove him round the bend. He simply couldn't puzzle it out. What life was really all about? What was the reason for his birth and why was he placed here on this earth? His giant brain went round and round. Alas, no answer could be found. Till suddenly, one wondrous night, in, in a flash he saw a light. He jumped up like a ballet dancer and yelled, By gum, I've got the answer. They want my bacon, slice by slice, to sell at a tremendous price. They want my tender juicy chops to put in all the butcher shops. They want my pork to make a roast, and that's the part that will cost the most. They want my sausages in strings. They'll even want my chatelaine. The butcher shop, the carving knife, that is the reason for my life. Such thoughts as these are not designed to give a pig a great peace of mind. Next morning, in comes Farmer Bland, a pail of pig swell in his hand, and Piggy with a mighty roar bashes the farm to the floor. Now comes the rather grisly bits, and not. Let's not make too much of it, except that you must understand that Piggy did eat Farmer Brown. He ate him up from head to toe, chewing the pieces nice and slow. It took an hour to reach the feet because there was so much to eat, and when he finished Pig, of course, felt absolutely no remorse. Slowly he scratched his brainy head, and with a little smile he said, I've had a fairly powerful punch that he might have me for his lunch, and so, because I feared the worst, I thought I'd better eat him first. So it was all right in the end.